guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, excuse my voice and the sound went very lazily. Um, I've got a cold this week, but, um, and I apologize for the video last week as well. Um, the weekend just went really quick and worked from 100%, so I didn't bother recording. Um, but I'm gonna do today a floor clean, so I'm gonna insert a clip in a second. My floor has been neglected this week. Um, I'm just looking around and it's just gross, there's all the right stuff everywhere, which is really unlike us. Um, but you like to see dirt, everyone always says in the comments, like your house is already clean. So I thought I'd show you this is a realistic week where I haven't cleaned it. Um, so I'm gonna sweep up, then I'm gonna hoover, and then I'm gonna use my, um, I've got like a hard, like bristle brush to try and get in between all the dirt, then probably steam it. Um, well, I haven't got a steam anymore actually. Then I'll probably mop it, and then use my, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I've got like a double rotating circle mop cleaner. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna lift all the chairs up um, and give it a thorough clean, because that's what definitely would need. So hopefully you can have this on, it'll give you some inspiration, um, or you can just sit back and enjoy it, and I will see you in a minute. So as I said just a minute ago, I'm just I'm putting everything up on the side so I can clear it a good clean. Again, my nose has got worse since I recorded this earlier, so I apologise. Um, but yeah, so just getting everything up before going in with um, the dustpan and brush and the broom to get rid of all the dust and debris first. Um, it's quite shocking actually, it's only been a week, but the amount of dust that is on the floor you'll see is absolutely disgusting. Um, it just shows that you do need to definitely clean your floors. Um, but yeah, it's something we quite like to see the dirt. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it if you do like seeing the dirt. So as I said, you can see the dust like already piling up there and I do keep pulling it off the broom. Um, I don't know why it was so dusty because there's only two of us, but yeah, definitely you need to hoover your floors um, more regularly than I did this week. Um, I think I last week it last, uh, last Friday, so it has been literally like, well, over a week really. Um, just been really busy at work, but yeah, you can see definitely, definitely need to. I and mean, I'll show you the end in a bit like massive dust bunnies and stuff, but I suppose sometimes that's just how things happen, isn't it? Then once I've gone in with the dust pan and brush and the broom, um, I'm just going to hoover. So I just put on the hard floor setting, so I just turn up to like full max. Um, just get up any other little bits I didn't get up with the um, dust pan and brush. Um, just before going in with the mop, I just like to just bring up the hoover. That's another step to make sure it's clean and stuff before I go in with the mop.
I don't know why the wire was not playing ball today, so it wasn't like tangled up because you can see that it pulls apart, but it just wasn't flowing as I wanted it to, so I do apologise, it just looks a mess when you hoover him, but not that it matters, but it doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, does it, for the video. But yeah, so just going in with the hoover around the whole room um, before going in with the mop. Right, so I've done the sweeping and the hoovering, and then I'm going to go in with this mop now. It's called the, it's from Dustpan and Brush. Um, I think I've showed this one here before. I'm sorry, I sound so awful, I'm so out of breath as well. Um, and it's for scrubbing floor brush with a built-in squeegee. Um, I'm just shaking off, oh, I'm missing a pole apparently. It's a four piece handle, I've only got three, so I'll have to look in the cupboard in a second for it. But, let me just look, so that must be the top. I'm assuming that goes in there, so we just screw it together. Um, and usually, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to find the other missing piece. Left bear me a second. Oh, that's not screwing on. Is that the end of it? Right there, I think I've done that one. Like that. I think that goes on there like that. So this is like the brush, so it's a really hard bristle and then it's got a squeegee bit. Um, I'm gonna use, I think last time I used um, like the pink stuff. I think I used the pink stuff, like the actual pink stuff stuff, like you know, like the, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called. Um, like not the spray, but it's an actual, you know, not the paste, the paste, that's it. Got my words back, so the paste. Um, but I'm gonna use, I think the, just over one second, let me find the this in the bowl. Um, but I think, as I said, I'm gonna use, um, just a pink stuff spray for this today, um, but I feel like it's not quite doing the job. Um, I'm okay, but I just want to show you because because it's quite good because it's got the hard bristles. And I'm just going to show you. I can't believe all that dust just for weeks of like a week's worth of um, not hoovering. But so I just want to show you because here, um, can you see like there's marks? Like I think that's where it's obviously something's on the floor. I mean, it is coming up, and it's like the dust has got on it. But um, I'm going to do that. Excuse me, sniffing. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't know why the light's flickering, it's really bugging me. Um, but hopefully it will get up all of those um, marks. Let's get started. So as you can see, just going in with the pink stuff spray. So that's like the square and mop stuff, so you don't have to rinse it. Um, I did put quite a lot on and then go in with the brush. Uh, but it was really good at getting up like any marks um, on the floor, particularly like um, round by the tables and chairs, where I think like where we drag the chairs out, it like, leaves a black mark. Um, it did, was really good at getting those out. Um, so definitely recommend this step and I do this every week as you know if you're a regular viewer um, but this is definitely my deep clean uh, of the kitchen floor that definitely needed doing um, as you'll have seen uh, so yeah that is the next step I do. And I just want to show you a close up here. So I'm just pointing to the black marks here on the floor um, and then putting the pink stuff spray and then scrubbing it. I just want to show you that it does come off. Um, and I do try this sometimes when I've just got the mop, but it doesn't always get them off. Um, but as you can see, because it's like a hard bristle, it does get the marks off um, and it does work really well. But yeah, so as I said, just want to give you a close up. Um, sometimes when it's far away, you can't actually see the effect that it has. So then once I'd done the um, brooming with the power bristle brush that I just showed you, I just went in with my Vailida spray mop and again this just had some more pink stuff in um, just to help give, like, get rid of like the residue of the um, water that I just used. So um, where like I'd been spray, um, scrubbing there was like a, um, 
obviously it was like dirty because I was getting the dirt up like a dirty like layer so I just wanted to get that before using the Bissell which is my I remember the name of it now uh, my double like circular um, electric mop um, because I don't, obviously don't want to just brush dirt into the floor uh, so yeah so just going through this as well so you can see it's been quite a lot so I've used the broom the hoover the brush this mop and then I'm going my final mop and um, my final mop has two stages but I do think that I pause and explain that to you um, so yeah I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video without my nasally horrible voice. and then it helps my feet absolutely so thing so I can't wait to take my socks off actually um, but yeah so that's what I do, like to do and then I'll show you the floor um, um, and then I'll show you the finished floor um, when it's all completed Is the floor now done so you can see there's no marks anywhere um like oh so it's my finger so all looking good and i'll show you around by the island as well while it's back here is the floor by the island which is looking all good so what i'm going to do now is i've just got the chairs and the bin over there so i'm going to wipe them all wipe the feet of the um bar stools and just dust them over as well before I put them back on the floor and then the kitchen will be restored to you. So I'm just using the Mr. Sheen spray and a microfiber cloth just to uh, dust the legs on the chairs and get any dust off the bottom of them as well before putting them down back on the clean floor.
And then I also wiped and dusted the plant, um, like the plant holders before putting them. I put them back and then dusted them um, and just made sure any bits that fell on the floor, which wasn't necessarily a tiny little bit, uh, were just picked up um, before going on to wipe the island. Um, I don't know it totally isn't the floor clean, but I thought it would just nice to finish the video off. Um, obviously the chairs have been on the island, uh, so just going in with the anti-back spray and the microfiber cloth just to clean the island. I hope that you enjoyed today's video guys if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to stick around for more then don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye